Of all the InDesign tutorials that I've done thus far, the one that's attracted the most hits is the one that I did on converting spot colors to process colors. And as a result, I've realized that there may be a need for a more general tutorial on prepping your files for the printer so that you can be sure that they'll print correctly. Now over the years, through some trial and error, I've developed my own pre-flight checklist that I check through every time I'm getting ready to send a job to the printer. And I'm going to, to be sharing the details of this checklist with all of you in a series of six videos, this video being the first of the six. And after you watch all six of these videos, you should be on your way to providing your printer with flawless press-ready files. Now I should mention that InDesign CS4 has a great new pre-flight tool that alerts you to any problems with your files, and to a large extent this new feature makes my own more manual checklist a bit redundant. But even so, you still need to understand what that pre-flight tool in CS4 is telling you, or it's not going to be very helpful. So providing an overview of all of the things you need to be mindful of when prepping your files is my goal in this series of videos. Now one caveat is I should mention that this is not a tutorial on ensuring color correctness. It's of course important that the color of your end product matches the color that you see on your screen, but ensuring that that, that happens is a large separate topic for another day. Now the one thing I will say about this though is that I very, very strongly recommend that once you send your files to the printer, you should definitely request to see a hard copy, color accurate proof before your job goes to press. This is your big chance to make sure your colors are outputting the way you expected and to do a final check to ensure that there are no other errors in your document that you may have missed earlier. And one last thing before I dive into checklist item number one, I should say that at this point in the process, when your layout is complete and you're ready to prep your files for press, you should have already contacted your printer and asked them to, to provide you with some specs on how they want you to prepare your files. If you haven't done this yet, do it now because you don't want to get too far down the road and then find out that your printer wants things set up in a different way. For example, an elementary though crucial question to ask is, if your printer requires that you provide files in InDesign, which version of InDesign should they be in? If you work in CS4, or maybe you're really on top of things and you've already placed your order for CS5, it may turn out your printer can only accommodate files in CS3. And if that's the case, then you may have a decision to make about if you really want to be using that printer in the first place or not. Now other things to find out is if your printer wants you to provide a press ready PDF file, or do they prefer you send you do they prefer you send your InDesign document along with all of your source files instead? Or maybe they want both a PDF and source files. So I strongly recommend that you figure out all of these issues up front before you take the time to prep your files for that particular printer. Okay, with all that said, let's move on to the fun part of going through our checklist. And we're going to start out with step one, which is to double check your document size, folds, and your safe zone. And what we're looking at here is a trifold brochure I designed for my dad's physical therapy clinic a couple years ago. And the front side is here on page one, and the back side is down here on page two. And if you've come this far with your design to the point where you're really getting ready to send this off for printing, the idea of double checking your document size may sound really dumb. Of course, your document size is right because you've been working on the design of this document for perhaps weeks trying to get it right, correct? Well, when asked, I can confidently tell you that most longtime graphic designers will say that they've sent files to the printer that were the wrong size at least once or twice. So just do a quick check to be sure because the size of your document is, of course, very important. And if you're working on, say, a packaging job or maybe a book jacket with a specific trim size and spine width, making sure all of these things are correct is very important, of course. Now, in my case, I happen to know my trifold brochure prints on an 8.5 by 11 page. So I'm just going to press Command Option P to double check my size. And we see that I have a uh, 11 inch width by 8.5 inch height and uh, landscape orientation, of course. So uh, things are looking pretty good. Now, um, just to go back up here to page one, the next thing I want to check are my folds. And you'll notice here that I have my purple line indicating a fold here and a fold here. So that looks pretty good. I can go up to my layout drop down menu, check my margins and columns, and I see that I have three columns. So that's uh, correct for a trifold brochure. 
zero inch gutter so there's no space in between those columns and that's what I want as well so I'm going to press OK. Now if I really want to be precise just to set my mind at ease to make sure that each of those columns are the correct width what I can do is I can just press my rectangle tool select that and I can just draw squares from one uh, edge of my panel to the other and then I can check the width of that box. So that width up here we see is 3.6667. Then I can just grab the edge of my rectangle, pull it over here to measure my middle panel, and again I check my width and it's the same thing, 3.667. And finally I'll do that again here just to be sure check my width and sure enough it's correct and I happen to know that 3.667 times 3 is 11 inches and that is the width of my document so I'm in, I'm in good shape with my uh, document size and I'm in good shape with my folds so I can now move on to check my safe, my safe zone now what is a safe zone well, printers usually have guidelines for how close non-bleeding elements in your document can be to the edge of the page. And the boundary where those elements should not extend into is called your safe zone. Now, in my case here, my safe zone is a quarter inch from my trim. And we can see here, this is my the edge of my trim. This is my bleed area here, so that, of course, does not count as my trim. And I've drawn quarter inch guides here all the way around my document as you can see so what I, what I want to do is I just want to double check to make sure that none of my text extends into that area and overall it's looking pretty good if I zoom in here it looks like this text uh, you know it's probably okay but just to be safe why don't I just nudge that up one point and that page is looking pretty good I'll scroll down here and again here are my guides indicating my my safe zone boundary and that all looks fine. Now of course my my color boxes that are bleeding off the edge of the page of course are going to extend all the way off the edge so those are okay. Now just going back up to uh, page one uh, you, when you're checking for safe zone you not only want to be checking to make sure text is not extending into your safe zone but you also want to check with images that aren't bleeding off the page. For example if I was to take a look at my my father's picture and if that was up here extending into the safe zone that can be dangerous my dad's head could be cut off and he would not be very happy about that so that's just a you know kind of a extreme example but um, I definitely want to move that back down to make sure that uh, he is well into the safe zone and that is step one in my pre-press checklist. It's all fairly straightforward stuff, but believe me, sending a file to the printer with dimensions that are incorrect can hold up your job for days, because sometimes those are things that aren't so easy to fix, especially for a complicated layout. So be sure to check your document size, folds, and safe zone. You'll be glad you did. In the next few tutorials, we'll get into some more technical stuff, uh, the next uh, tutorial will be step two in the series, which is ensuring that all your fonts are loaded. Be sure to check that out. And as always, feel free to email me with questions at howie at fortuitouspub.com. That's howie at f-o-r-t-u-i-t-o-u-s-p-u-b dot com. And check out my blog at www.indesignjunkie.com. Thanks for watching.